Hey fly tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pretty simple little nymph pattern. This is one that I've started tying to put in the fly box for the upcoming trout opener in a month or so, a couple months. This is the flashback hair's ear, and this is a variation of the gold rib hair's ear. So this one obviously it has a strip of flash material down the back and I'm going to use the uh, Hedron Flashaboo Mirage which has sort of an opalescent and a pearlescent combination in there. But if you don't have that and you want to just tie this with something with a pearl flashaboo that'll do great as well. So let's have a look at the material list for this fly and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm going to use a Mustad C49S and I'm just going to tilt it forward just a little bit because I want to get at the back of that hook shank on the curve. So we're going to start off, we're going to add a little bit extra weight. I've got a brass bead on here already. I believe that's a 3.2 millimeter bead on the size 10 hook. So we're just going to add about six, seven wraps of 0.02 lead and we'll just jam that in behind the bead. And I just use my scissors there just to smooth things out. And for thread today we're going to be using a UTC 70D or an ADOT olive, olive done, that sort of thing. Just want to kind of have a thread that's going to blend in nicely with the... Uh, the dubbing here. So for the tail I'm going to take a little bit of red squirrel and uh, on the back side base of the tail you'll find these nice spiky little fibers with a lot of different color variation in them. So I'll just take a small snip of that. I'm going to pull the under fur out and you can save that to use for some dubbing. And then I'm just going to take these hairs I'm going to even them up just a little bit We'll measure those and then we'll tie those down and I'll start it just where the lead ends so we can kind of help build a uh, nicely tapered body that's going to step up from between the hook shank and the lead there just so we don't have a big bump. So just trim the tag end of the tail. Next we're going to take a little bit of gold wire. This is a brassy size for size 10. And I'd recommend going into the smaller sizes for size 12 or smaller. So we'll just attach the wire on the side of the hook with a few wraps. We'll just kind of put that out of the way. Next we're going to take a little bit of the Mirage tinsel. I'm going to use probably about four or five strands of this if you've got a saltwater version of it you can probably get away with a single strand because it's quite a bit wider. We're going to use about four strands here just so we get a little bit of coverage on the back. We're going to tie that in right along the top of the hook shank as best we can. You just kind of pull it up and uh, tie it down that'll ensure that it gets right on the spine of the hook shank. And pull our thread up a little bit and we're going to take a little bit of tan hair's ear dubbing. So you can get this from a uh, hair's ear mask if you want or you can buy some prepackaged stuff. This is stuff I'm using here is stuff that I got off a mask and I just mixed it up a little bit with uh, a couple carding tools like uh, pet groomers just to make sure that the fibers get mixed well. So we put on a thin noodle of dubbing and we're just gonna wrap that with a little bit of a taper towards the 
bead head. And we'll just add a little bit as we need it here. And we're not going to worry about leaving room for a thorax and a, a, another shell back on this because we're going to pull the flash back along the entire length of the fly here. Just add a half hitch and now we're going to pull that flash material over the top. And this is can be a little bit tricky just to get it lined up on the center there but if you tie it down and then you can adjust it a little bit before you commit it with the wire so you can use your thumb just to adjust that a little bit if you need to and then we'll start wrapping so we're just going to take our wire and we're going to pull it over the top and you just want to make sure you don't uh, pull it too hard because that material will slide over a little bit as you wrap the wire there. So we'll just wrap that up to the bead and then we're going to tie off the wire. Make sure you get a few wraps on top, underneath and then back on top again. We'll just clear out that Mirage tinsel. And we're just going to continue to secure in that wire. So then you can pull it taut and then give it a few spins just to break it off. And now we've got a bit of a collar there. So we're just going to take a little bit more dubbing just to kind of cover up the uh, tie off space there. And actually here, if you want to change up your dubbing, you want to make a bit of a variation, something that I do from time to time, like an ice dubbing works really well. So just to clean up those thread wraps. Now we're going to add our whip finish. And then we'll uh, add some head cement to this one. And then this one's going straight in the box. I'm going to be fishing this one, as I said, uh, the trout opener here in Ontario. Can't wait. Hey, fly tires. Thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you enjoyed the video, take a second and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your support of the channel, and until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.